Third defeat on the road now. Uh, what do you think cost us the game tonight? Um, I don't know really. It's a, it's a tough one. It's the margins between success and failure are, are tiny. I think that um, that's shown t tonight. Um, we've won games and we've got results from games in this season where teams will think that they're probably unlucky. Um, tonight again, first off, there's nothing in the game. Um, the game's ultimately changed by a refereeing decision that. I don't know how many were here, 500 maybe were here, 499, I have no idea what he's given a penalty for. Um, so, although um, we've made bad decisions individually, I, I believe he's made a, made a poor decision there. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm not one to have a, have a pop at referees, they've got a difficult enough job as it is. Um, but I'll have a look at it. If it's a, a foul, which again I don't think it is, then I'll maybe change my view on it. But I suppose you're back to that old adage, old one that if if penalties are given for something very little as that, you'd be seeing probably eight to ten, eight to ten penalties in a game because none of their lads have appealed for it. No one's got a clue in the, around the around the sides what's going on. You hear him blow his whistle. I'm assuming he's given us, given us a free kick, and I, and I don't know what a free kick's for to be honest. Um, and then that changes the game. But I just think, like I say. Um, Right through, the, right through the game, I thought he was, he was picky. Um, we've picked up six bookings tonight. Um, there's not been a bad tackle in the game. We've played 30 games this season, and we picked 30 bookings up from them 30. So who's wrong, the 29 refs we've had previously, or him tonight? Like I say, there wasn't, wasn't anything in the game. We've seen two teams who like to get it down, like to play, two good footballing teams, two of the best footballing teams in the division. Um, which, again, although a bad decision, hasn't cost us overall, it has a, has a big influence on the game. I mean, if you look at the goals, the goals we're giving away, the second goals, uh, again, just one you completely forget about. And the third goal, again, Ben should do better with, in my opinion. It comes off him and the lad sticks in an open net, so um, you're always up against it from there. But we, we showed a little bit, we've got to go back and um, just need to learn how to build pressure a little bit because, like I say, there wasn't a, wasn't a great deal in the game, in my opinion. Uh, you mentioned the six bookings earlier. Um, do you think they were fair decisions, or do you think the crowd influenced them a lot? If you tell me what they were, if you tell me that any of them tackles were um, in any way malicious or going out to hurt somebody or do whatever, then then I'll you know what I mean I'll hold my hands up. My teams um, probably need to tackle a bit more and give a little bit more, but none of them were none of them were none of them were bad tackles. None of their players for any of those bookings. Um, I've gone down, I've received any treatment, there's nothing up with him. I think he feels obliged to book Rowie for the penalty, which he's given a penalty for something that no one else sees. Well, just because it's a penalty, is it a booking? Again, no idea. You'd have to ask him. Like I say, I'm not, a, um, I'm not one to, to have a go at refs. They have a, a, a bad enough job as it is. But, um, like I say, I don't think he... Um, not so much did himself any favours, but covered himself in glory tonight because it was quite an easy game to referee, in my opinion. Uh, the second goal it was a lack of communication between Boothy and uh, and Ben. Do you think it was a confidence issue or? No, it's just uh, again, it, it ultimately it's down to decisions, and you need to be decisive and you need to um, make a decision and stick by it. But it's one of them. There's no whether it's a communication issue or not. The ball goes. You have stood four yards out from your goal line. You don't head it backwards. You, whether you keep a shout to keepers or not, if you're stood there to head it, you head it. You can argue afterwards. You can deal. You deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it at source. And then if you need to argue after, and Ben comes and says, "I shouted keepers." Fine. Tough. I've had it. I've had it away. Ball's dealt with. Game still one 0 Game still on. Uh, you got a goal with about ten minutes to go. After the goal ended, did you change tactic at all? Or oh, well, like I say, it, it, it's it's always a tough one then because, like I say, once the side's three 0 up, they're sort of seeing the game out if you like. Um, but we. Got some momentum going. We got a goal, like you say. We had the ball in some really good areas, and um, a few little bits and bobs that probably we didn't take. We've obviously hit the hit the post right near the end. Same scenario with the last two games at three-one. I suppose it like a like a, a, a two-nil score line. When you're two goals behind, if you can get one more, you can get one goal, to get yourself back in it. Anything can happen. Um, we didn't get that goal, so it's one of them. You lose the game, and you move on to Saturday. All right, cheers, Charles. Good All luck right, Saturday. Cheers.